Larry Thompson, man, he talk a lot of smack. Great guy to go up against. And he was like, Z, you not gonna beat me. Just face it. And then when I did beat him, well, he just gives Laramie Tunsil the one-two. I looked him dead in his face. I said, what now? <laughs> he said, you got me, you got me on that one. All jokes aside, man, that was one of the best tackles that I went up against this year. He's nice. He nice. He been nice. You can tell he's strong, great feet, great leverage. He plays low center of gravity. He's gonna pull. He leads the way for the back. Good looking hole for David Johnson. He got him punched too, so he could just punch, grab on you, punch, and then he could slide and move his feet with you. Yeah, him had some tough tussles back in, uh, in the SEC. College throwback. Coaches warning me all week, not the old Laramie, not to be able to get those old tricks you used to pull on them. Good battle, bro. Good to see you too. Great feet, and great leverage. Uh, he has great being too. Uh, he plays low center of gravity for 60 minutes. Few players on this countdown can quantify their value quite like Laramie Tunsil. In 2019, Tunsil was part of a trade that sent him from Miami to Houston for two first round picks, a second round pick, and two players. The 2021 first round pick ended up being the third overall pick, which the Dolphins sent to San Francisco. With the third pick, the San Francisco 49ers select Trey Lance. The 49ers sent Miami their 12th overall pick, first and third round picks in 2022, and the 2023 first round pick. That's crazy, man. But wait, there's more. The Dolphins then sent the 12th pick and their 2022 first round pick to Philadelphia for the sixth overall pick. With the sixth pick, the Miami Dolphins select Jalen Waddle. The Tunsil trade is the trade that just keeps on giving. I mean, you want to talk about turning a lot into a lot more. That's crazy, man, that his trade turned into that many picks. Among the Dolphin faithful, the legend of the Laramie Tunsil trade continues to grow with the hopes that someday it will be properly immortalized in Miami. It was crazy to see that statue of him like holding his hand up and with all the picks listed right there in front of the Dolphins stadium. That's funny. I can understand though because having a great offensive tackle is everything. Now. You ain't got to worry about too much pressure coming off, any sacks coming off from that end. It means a lot to a team. You can take five step drops, you can't hold the ball a little bit longer because you got a guy out there that you could trust going to do his job. Be nice. I'll put him up there as far as tackles go. Him and Trent, 